What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a strategy that made me become profitable in trading. So this strategy is very simple and basic and guess what, I have a beautiful thing to tell you because in this strategy, you don't need any higher time frame analysis. We're only using one time frame in this strategy. So if you want to find out how, let's dive in. So guys, as you can see, I'm on the GBP USD on the 15 minute time frame. So in this strategy, we are using one time frame and that time frame is the 15 minutes. Very simple. And if you can see, you can look at four bullet points I highlighted here. So in this strategy, we need to see four of these things before the trade could be valid. What are they? Number one, inducement. We need to see an inducement market. You know, the second one, we need to see an imbalance or a fair value gap. So that it can give us a higher probability trade you understand i want to see a demand or a supply zone like the market must come back to test the demand or supply zone and that supply zone or demand zone must be a breakout block so that is that for that let's take an example right now so as you can see let's take an example so now on this chart i'm looking for opportunities to show us so i think i found one here so now this this strategy is the breakout block um, strategy it's very powerful guys a lot of people aren't aware of this strategy but i'm going to break it down for you guys it's very simple so you just need only one time frame so, so let's look at what the market did here okay um from here um the market broke structure we know you see it's a downtrend okay we have a break of structure to the downside here um let me let me kind of like identify it for us we have a break of structure here let me make this white um say that um so that others can follow the pros and the hows can um, fully understand this so we have a break of structures downside and if we look closer we also had a break here again we also had a break of structure here we also had a break of structure here we also had a break of structure here they are followed by what a change of character um change of character change of character so for then we have another followed by another break of structure here i want to identify this so that we can save time then we have a break of structure here then what do we have again um this low got broken so we had a change of character again we had a change of character again and we can see here we had a break of structure to the downside here this is a break of structure even though it's a minor break of structure you want to say um, it's a liquidity sweep or something. It's a break of structure also. Well, it's a kind of a weak one, but it's a break of structure. You understand? So, now, in the breakout box mechanism, breakout box strategy, before a demand zone or a supply zone is valid, it must break structure. So now, which um, um supply zone was responsible for this break? This is the supply zone responsible for this break. This is the supply zone here. Yeah. This is the supply zone responsible for the break. So we will highlight that. This is the supply zone responsible for the break. And as you can see how the market trended. So now, before we take our trades, we need to identify three things. First, inducement. Where is the inducement? This is the inducement here. The break of structure to the upside. Now, when, when this broke structure up here, a lot of people... When this broke structure here, a lot of people will have their stop loss here. So this creates an inducement. You understand? This creates an inducement. And even we had a double top here. If you can see, this is an inducement. This was used to create liquidity to propel us further more. So we have an inducement. Then we have an imbalance fair value gap. So let's look. Do we have a fair value gap? Yes, we, all, we have a fair value gap. If you look at the um, bullish momentum that broke structure, it created an imbalance that needed to be filled. So the market came to fill that. So that fulfills this. Then is it a supply or a demand level? Yeah, this is uh, the supply zone. Then is it a breakout block? Yeah, it's a breakout block. So this is a valid trade. So in this case, you enter your trade. So you just go for a long. You go for a long stop loss below the supply. Then target the opposing liquidity which is this simple see one ratio 3.7 very very simple that's how this strategy is so this is how simple and easy the strategy is this is it 
just stay on one time frame then you follow the market then now if you want to continue the market the market broke structure it broke structure with your upside so you wait for other um, opportunities so um let me give you guys another example um i will still do subsequent video about this so if you want to see more video about the strategy comment below and um so let's take another example so as you can see here we have another interesting example here we can see that we had a break of structure to the website mind you guys this is just a strategy that just needs only one time frame so you just follow the market structure here you don't need going to other higher time frame and checking what is what what is not no just stay on this time frame so we had a break of structure to the upside and which um demand zone was responsible for this break this was the demand zone so the demand zone was breaking broken here so what's this this is a change of character which indicates a change in market structure right we all know that so after this what do we have so now if you can notice that's why you guys need to pay close attention right? because you only need one time from here if you can notice then what happened the market followed by a break of structure to the downside a break of structure here to the downside right a break of structure to the downside so now what's what what is this showing us this shows us that a lot of liquidity is present here the market will want to come and take out those early sellers that's what's going to happen the market came to take out all those early sellers and let me um, get this thing our playbook and call it the playbook i'm going to call it our playbook so what can we see from our playbook um is there a valid inducement yes this is an inducement is there an imbalance and a fair value gap that needed to fill. Of course, look at the huge imbalance that took out that demand zone. There's a huge imbalance here. We can all see that demand and supply zone. Yes, this is demand and the supply zone, which has not been tapped into. You guys can see how this is fresh. It hasn't been tapped into. And this is the breakout block. Of course, yes, this is a breakout block because this demand broke structure. And yes, the market broke it also so it's a breakout block then what do we have the market came back to retest that we're taking out those people out so what do you do as a um, smart trader your entire shot from here target opposing liquidity you know this one ratio 2.2.8 clean and smooth trade so this is how it is smooth and easy this strategy is guys you can see the trades are even closer to each other so these are just smart and easy trade guys so if you want to see more of this and you want to see more of my video like subscribe and share and um comment below your questions and see you guys later